I'm going to ask you about your star pupil, one of your star pupils, Mr. Yeah. 96. Uh, a bit of a freak, isn't he? Yeah, Landon's awesome. He, and, and part of it's because he loves it. And so he eats it, breathes it, just is all about that life. So he's a, he's a joy for a strength coach to have, yeah. So he got put on a, a freak list for the athletic, and they listed his numbers. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, can you kind of talk about how he arrived? I mean, did, did, did is some of it just natural ability, and he came, he already had strength, or did he just suddenly jump up like crazy? I, uh, both. You know, it's both. Obviously, people who are strong are, are born with a base level of strength more than others. You know, some mm -hmm. people are just strong. Other people care about it. Right, and, and it's not a time they come to work out, it's kind of time they come to train. Okay. So that's how he comes about. Every time he walks in the weight room, it's not about doing what he's told, it's about doing what he's told to the best of his ability. He wants to be the best person at his rack, he wants to be the best person on his row, he wants to be the best person in the defense, he wants to be the best person on the team. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can feel it when he trains. He's super coachable, asks good questions, receptive to feedback, his technique is improved, and his strength is just skyrocketed. And then he goes and does extra. Right, you know, it's that extra mile people talk about. So he asks questions about that too. Hey, should I do this? Should I do that? Um, so he's engaged as much as he could possibly be with developing himself physically. He's got a passion for it. Since you've been here, is what is the has he made a big jump in all of his lifts, or has there been one particular lift that he really made a big jump? Well, you gotta you gotta look at his speed. Right, football is a game of speed. It's played outside, it's not played inside. And we love squatting, cleaning, benching, doing pull-ups. Mm -hmm. We love all that stuff, but you know, you play a game outside running and jumping. Sure. Right, and so that's really important to understand. And so the guy gained 55 pounds and he ran faster. <laughs> think, about, think about just a, a show of momentum. Right. right, you know, if you, you want to get hit by somebody running 20 miles an hour if they're 180 pounds or you want to get when they're 280 pounds, I choose the lighter guy, right? right? He, he comes down the field at 280 running faster than he did at 240, wow. right? So not only did he engage in all the weight room stuff to build strength, he also bought in 100% to the way that he ran because he knows that he's training to play football. So, yeah, his squat's 600 pounds. And I cut him off. He's probably a 700-pound squatter, right? His bench is probably heavier than I let him go to because I ain't going to let him get hurt, okay. right? But when we go outside, like but he – Isn't it about – Pushing yourself to the max. I mean, it's pushing yourself to the max. But I mean, it, it, we're gonna let him train hard. But we're gonna make sure that he's ready to play on Saturdays. Okay. He didn't come here to lift weights. He came here to play on Saturdays. So you put. First of all, our bars bend. <laughs> it ain't supposed to bend, right? So it's like you know when, when we feel like we're in a spot where we're getting the most out of him from a strength standpoint, and we got enough. Now we gotta make sure that correlates to the way he produces force. So he goes out in the field. He's running almost. He, we give one more week in the summer, he probably runs 20 miles an hour, okay. which is incredible. I got his size. So I'd say that the way that his strength has correlated to his speed, how dynamic he is on the grass, that's why people talking about him on kickoff. What about explosiveness? A 33-inch vertical, I think it was. That's pretty good for a 280-pound guy. Yeah, and again, it was lower than that when he was 240. Okay. So the, the fact that he's put an inch on his vert. For that? Why yeah, it's, all, it's, a, it's want to. He wants to. A guy wakes up in the middle of the night and eats Gatorade bars to make sure that his calories are in. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he takes care of his body. He walks around with a bottle of hydrate, and he comes in, like, you know, bloodthirsty, ready to train. <laughs> right? There's a want to there, and the right. want to is significant when it comes to training. Right? right? You, and, and look. If you do exactly what we tell you to do, we, we expect you. To, we feel like you'll get better. But if you pour your heart and soul into it, you're gonna you're gonna elevate over other people, and that's what he's done. So he's only a sophomore. So I mean, maybe next off season, do you think he can take it even further? I'm gonna let him go as far as is safe. So if he squats 600 pounds easy now, I'm gonna let him keep going. As soon as I feel like it's contrary, contradicting like what we're trying to do, if he starts getting slower. If he stops jumping higher, then I got to do something about that to make sure he doesn't keep gaining weight. So sense. we just need to pay attention to the metrics. If they're going right from a football standpoint, I ain't going to stop him from being strong. Hell no. Well, we're here with Landon Robinson. He's a bit of a freak. And do you hear that term? And you got put on a list yes, sir. by a guy with the athletic, Bruce Feldman, yes, coach you on the all freaks list. What yes, did sir. you think of that? I think it was very cool. Uh, such an honor being able to be on that list with a lot of good other athletes. Um, I just thank God for the ability to be able to do what I do. Just got to keep getting better every day. So I saw in your bio you were a four-sport athlete yes, in sir. high school. I mean, so I think part of being able to be what you are is that you're versatile. Yes, sir. Kind of, kind of tell you, tell us a little bit about in high school, you know, how are you a four-sport athlete? There's only three seasons. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. I just love to compete um, throughout high school. Played football, of course. I wrestled, did track and baseball. Just okay. love to compete. So what did you just do track the... and baseball simultaneous or something? I did uh, baseball throughout my high school career. And then my senior year, once I decided I was going to go with football, I decided to do track to ah. help with my speed. 
So, so. We, you just worked on, you, what were you in track and field? I was, I threw and I did the 100 meter. Really? So, yeah, so you I ran worked on my speed. Yes, what was your 100, best 100 meter time? Oh, I think I ran around like a 10-3, like really? a 10-4 around there. Yeah, pretty quick. What do you think's been your best 40 time? 40 time, I think I could run around 4-6. Okay. Yes, sir. So we just got done, you heard us talking to Jim. Yes, um, for, so you were 240 last season yes, sir okay yes, sir yeah and came did out they of told summer. you that you really had to pick up some weight if you, well, you weren't gonna play a nose guard here at 240 were you <laughs> yes sir yeah absolutely i came in as a linebacker actually oh you did yes sir so i came in as a linebacker out of plebe summer and then once i got out they told me they wanted me to play d-line they wanted to see me how i worked there so i was like okay uh i gotta i gotta you know start gaining weight of course so i started off the season at around 240 uh maintained that weight at around like all the way through the season and then once the off season hit i was like okay like now's my time to start getting bigger okay. so i came into spring ball at around 250 stayed 250 kind of dropped a little bit i was around 245 250 throughout spring ball and then i was like okay summer's here let's pick it up right right so i started lifting more or eating more and then i came out 280 in fall camp so what is the key? I mean, it's, I, you're, it looks like you've added muscle weight. It doesn't look yes, like sir. you're a little flabby. Absolutely. But uh, it's a, a combination of getting the carbs, the calories in, like he mentioned, with the eating the bars at night. Absolutely. And the, the lifting. Absolutely, yeah. Working with our nutritionist, Scott, um, he helped me out, helped me get on a food plan so I could figure out how to gain the weight the proper way. Uh, working with Coach K, working with the strength staff, they helped me do it the right way. So lean muscle and not, yeah. not fat. So I'm um, yeah, thankful for it. So how does one gain 40 pounds and yet get faster and have a higher vertical leap? That yes, doesn't sir. seem to compute. Yes, sir. It's pretty crazy. Just thankful for Coach K, thankful for the strength staff, thankful for Scott as well. Uh, helping me do it the right way, get that lean muscle mass. And I just thank God for being able to have that ability to do it. So, so those weightlifting numbers that we talked about, what yes, is there one that you're particularly proud of? Is there any one particular yes, lift that you've really jumped forward to, whether it's a squat or the bench press or the, the whatever? Yes, sir. I think all of them, to be honest. Um, with, the, with the weight gain, I think I gained about almost 30, 40 pounds on my bench. Okay. And on my squat, I went from around like 630 to um, I'm almost at 700 now. So, okay, so yeah, you can, you are almost 700 Yes, squat, sir, absolutely. Right? Um, so, and it, it, you're translating onto the field. Yes, sir. I mean, you're getting playing time, you're doing things. Yes, sir. I mean, how, how does it feel? It must be very satisfying to see your hard work paying off. Absolutely, yeah, very satisfying. I'm um, thankful to Coach Hall for putting me out there, uh, helping me continue to get better every day. Thankful to Biscuit, uh, Donald Burnyard, and Busick for helping me you know, get that technique, uh, work on that technique, continue to get better every day. So. so obviously it's a rarity for a nose guard to play on the kickoff coverage team. Absolutely. <laughs> what did you say when they mentioned about doing that? I said, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Uh, I knew it was, it, was a little, it was a rare occurrence, of course, but I knew how fast um, I am. I know how fast I am, and I know I could fly out and I can get the job done. So I was super excited. So you're not the guy that's like breaks the wedge or something, or I mean, do you, does that? Yes, yeah, I, I'm, I was used to fly down there and break through a wedge. Okay. Uh, of course, I have a little bit more athleticism than just running into a wedge, so I'd, I'd hit the wedge and I'd get off and I'd mm -hmm. go make a play. So. Try to go make a play. Yes, sir, absolutely. So one thing I noticed in your bio that I, when I started thinking about it, how versatile you are and how athletic you are, your dad was a gymnast, a college yes, gymnast. Yes, sir. Did you maybe as a young tyke, do some gymnastics? I did. I spent a lot of time at the gym with my dad when I was younger. I used to do some flips. I used to stretch a lot. Um, you know, jump on the you know trampolines while he was coaching. So I think that also helped with my athleticism. I was going to say, I think that's probably yes, a ba good baseline. Absolutely, it? that's yeah. a really there's no more athletic sport than gymnastics. Absolutely, I mean, you got to use so many different muscles. Absolutely, right, yes, sir. What uh, so what do you want? You, you still got two more years, you know, three years really yes, sir. to become the max of what you're going to become yes, what, sir. You know, what do you want to do what do you want to become I just want to be the best you know nose guard defensive lineman I can become just keep working my craft uh, keep working with coach Hall keep working with the guys around me and just just keep getting better every day oh we're talking about Landon Robinson he's been labeled a freak he got put on a uh, athletic uh, list for you know top freaks in NCAA football but when you look at the numbers of between weightlifting speed vertical he is kind of a freak yeah what, do you, what do you, can you say about that oh, oh he's unbelievable I, I don't I don't think in all my all my years of coaching I've been an athlete uh, that's that's like him you know um, fast strong um, he's physical you know very athletic you know um, he's hardly ever off balance mm -hmm. you know um, but yes I, I would I would put him in that category for sure so he just told me that he came in as a linebacker he was weighing 240 what <laughs> led you all to think yeah. nose guard well uh, with our with our system um, we've seen what what works you know mm -hmm. uh, in our scheme and, and biscuit kind of um, you know set the tone for that you know mm -hmm. and, and we see landing um, as, a, as a younger version uh, of Burnyard, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, 
and, so, and that's he's becoming to, to be everything that we thought that, that he would be. You know, um, you know, spring ball. You know, he had uh, he was actually our starter at nose because uh, Kabisco was having surgery, mm -hmm. and uh, he was 240 pounds, and uh, he was quick as lightning out there. You okay. know? But uh, but I felt like you know he needed to, to bulk up just a little bit to be able to uh, to handle that offensive line in, in, the, in the American Conference, and, uh, and he came back in, in camp uh, up 40 pounds. Yeah. You know, and but significant. The, but yes, but the unique thing. Thing about that is, you know, he he didn't lose a step. Right. Well, that's know. what actually Coach Carizzi just told us that yeah. he improved his vertical, improved his speed, and his, you know, he's running close to 20 miles per hour. Or something right. Like that. Right. It's crazy. Right. And th and that what what would put him in the category is being a freak, right? Right. There, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, and how has it, you, it's translated on the field? He's getting mm -hmm. some time and apparently doing pretty well. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, would you say? He, it, it, that, that all you know, and it's one thing to be a weightlifting guy and a speed mm. guy on the, but it, it, you got to perform mm. on the field. Is he mm. doing it? Yes, yes. Because he, he's a he's a football player, and and the one thing about uh, about Landon is uh, he's very very coachable. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can you can coach him hard, you know, um, and he responds, you know, um, you know, and and when you got someone like that who loves the game of football, um, it's going to naturally, you know, it's going to naturally come. You know, right. being a linebacker. You know, playing on the line, you got instincts. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. how to find the football. Sure. You know, and uh, and it's it's been a luxury to have to have him. You know, um, be that type of player for us. So you mentioned Biscuit. Is Biscuit kind of taking him under his wing? I mean, now that you say he's a, he's a very similar to Donald. I mean, I bet Donald's like, hey, they, I'm going to groom this young man. Absolutely. He he's done just that. You know, um, with, with Biscuit being out in the spring. But he was still out there at every, at every practice. Coaching you know. him up? Yes. Every time he would uh, finish his reps, he, uh, Landon would come to the sideline and Biscuit would be there coaching him up and what he saw sure. and fixing things like that. You know, So it, it's, it's been like having a, ha having a coach, mm -hmm. you know, an <laughs> extra coach you know, right. out there uh, with, with Biscuit. So it's been awesome. I imagine the sky's the limit. I mean, the kid's a sophomore. Yeah. He's, he played, first year as a nose guard. Yeah. I mean, I, I, two years from now, I think he'd probably be a pretty good player, don't you think? Yeah, oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. You know, once, you know, he matches that athletic ability that he has, you know, uh, with the fundamentals, you know, sharpening that sharpening that sword uh, with the fundamentals, uh, I think the sky is going to be the limit, you know, once he puts both both together. Still, as a young player, you're still kind of learning the ins and out. You right, know, I mean, I'm sure there's right. a lot of fundamental techniques yeah. playing defensive line. It just yeah. takes time, It takes right? time. It absolutely, it, it takes time, you know. Um, but, you know, with his attitude, and, and the way he's uh, the way he's coachable, like the way he is, it's gonna, he's going to he's going to accelerate rapidly.